So we're living in a world where breath can kill us and the government want us to be a herd. So are we human or are we sheep? Why have you got a berry on your head? Well, I'm an artist and I can't afford the berry. This is my office. This is a bit chaotic, but I will do a 360, uh, what's it? As a lot of um, art, online art galleries are prone to do. So here we go, more books. Actually, let's stop here for a second. Yeah, there's some more books, um, including books I've written. There, you can see a few of those. And books I'm part of an anthology of. Yeah, let's carry on looking at some of my art. This is a pearl box called Dignity that I did. Another copy of this is at the Welcome Collection Permanent Exhibition, Being Human. And yeah, it's basically wanting dignity in healthcare, which, you know, even through this kind of COVID-19 pandemic we're having, it's, you know, it's a bigger issue than ever. Um, how many disabled people will get the dignity and the rights of, the, you know, of their life and healthcare? The other work that's in the Welcome Collection is the, uh, a copy of this collecting can help the normals which I created as a response to the idea that disabled people should be pitied and actually no, I think normal people ought to be pitied. So yeah, let's, let me start again. Here is the 360 rotation of my office. Yeah, it's very chaotic, very messy, but you know, that's my mind, I'm afraid. So well, let's go, let's do another one. Oh, I'm getting starting to get dizzy. Hello, scamp. Oh, starting to get even dizzier. So Dolly, tell me about your art. Well, my work explores the relationship between multiculturalism and counter-terrorism, with influences as diverse as Blake and Homer Simpson's. New variations are distilled from both simple and complex discourses. Oh, why am I doing this? I'm just reading off some Artie Bollock's uh, web page. I, basically my art to me, I make art to make trouble because we don't live in a perfect world. So um, one of my projects I'm currently doing is editing a video uh, for a school. Uh, it was a collaboration between some year uh, fives and myself and somebody else. So we're doing a kind of animation. Um, I do like filmmaking. But sometimes um, it's just quite this very uh, detail orientated. You know, I'm more of a bigger picture person, and to the point, you know, you just you just get in, you know, engrossed and and get it gets a bit nitpicky trying to get everything all right. To the point, I'm a bit stressed now, and I I um uh actually I think I need a bit of a wank to kind of de-stress myself now. Uh, where's my wanking hat? Oh, there it is. Right, um, I'm just going to go go um, de-stress myself. You don't have to follow me. What's this current performance you're doing? Is it called Beg? Is it called Beg? Sit? Is it called Beg? That's good eating there. And you're, what you're trying to say about Beg? That we shouldn't have to just to eat. Another one of my projects, which has kind of halted because of the uh, coronavirus uh, crisis, Deborah Lemons were closing and they had a lot of their um, fixture and fittings for sale. So I bought this guy, which people thought I was a bit of a perv, but I actually have a good reason. Uh, I'm 
interested in people's experiences of emotional neglect and abuse. And I'm going to ask people, uh, I'm going to get a T-shirt for him, which basically says emotional abuse uh, ruins lives along those lines. And I'll ask people to tell me phrases that rem they remember from childhood that they carry into life. So a few of them that I've got from people I know are, who are local to me, like one day you'll do something right, you should fuck off and die, boys don't cry, ugly, loser. So if you've got any phrases you would like to see on this dummy, uh, let me know. Right, we're in my office and this is one of my current projects. It's I'm building a dollhouse version of a uh, DWP assessment centre. So we here we have, I, I call her Anna, she's got one leg, she's got COPD and she's got uh, bipolar. She's in a manic phase at the moment, as you can see. Um, and here is the, the witch of an assessor. Um, and I, I've just, oh, okay. Oops. Um, I've, I'm just getting it ready because the idea is to, is to do a kind of uh, a satirical children's toy commercial. So once lockdown is over, I'm going to get one of my neighbour's kids to play with, with uh, an assessment centre dollhouse and also a food bank uh, dollhouse uh, because of that's you know that's the reality of a lot of children's experiences in this country these days. So at the bit at the moment, I'm I've done these health and safety posters that you see. They're kind of a bit a bit ubiquitous. Ubiqu ubiqu they're kind of common <laughs> in officious places. So I'm just I've just put double sticky plastic on them. I'm just going to take it off and stick it on the walls, and then it will be almost done. It's taking a while. The DWP Assessment for Disabled People is an evil thing. It has contributed to the early deaths and suicides of thousands of people. Making a child play through the process will hopefully show what an obscene thing it is. When I went to the hospital I was given a uh, booklet by Arthritis UK for my arthritis um, one, you know, one was uh, a booklet on just how to ease pain, but the other booklet was sex positions uh, for people with arthritis. Unfortunately, it was for straight couples only. So I've decided to draw my own sex positions for older arthritic ladies. I don't want to call it the Karma Sutra. I'll find another name for it. But this is... Um, one of the drawings I'm doing at the moment is called the avalanche. Um, your boobs get more elastic as you get older. And this poor lady has, has, has it in her face and she says the word, I can't breathe. So I'm just finishing off um, bits of it. There you go. So that's, you know, a day in the life of Dolly Sen artist. Nice to speak to you. And maybe I'll see you again. Um, I'm going to be a bit busy for the rest of the day.